out a new sponsor to Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. All right. Outside of Anthony Joshua last night <laughs> being a, the biggest loser. Um, other losers, we kind of talked to this about it last night on the live. I want to have Dr. Blick on about uh, AJ getting starched. Was Luis Ortiz, Deontay Wilder, and Alexander Usyk? And let's elaborate more on there. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. And pretty much, Luis Ortiz, if you didn't know, passed up a fight with Anthony Joshua because he was promised a Wilder fight. They were trying to freeze AJ out. And Ortiz could have starched, uh, starched AJ last night. Not sure he could have did it in Ruiz fashion, but I'm pretty sure, you know, maybe it was a short notice. He was out of shape, but most of the time he stayed in shape. But he passed it up for a wilder fight. He could have bought three belts and immediately got into a wilder fight. They could have pushed that back to November, December. And his worth could have, his money could have went all the way up. You know, he could have got $10 million to fight wilder in a pay per view undisputed clash, you know, or something like that. But. You know, he got to be feeling sick. At the end of the day, I don't think it was just the promotional company, all that bullshit they were saying, because Steven Espinosa came out and said that, you know, Ortiz wasn't taking the fight. They were trying to freeze Al, they were trying to freeze uh, Eddie Hearn out, you know, so Andrew Ruiz got the call, and he took it. They let Andrew Ruiz take it. Luis Ortiz and Coles Nauke, he also said he had, he had was promised a wilder fight. They both turned it down. Now, not saying uh, Coach Nauke would have won, but he got great stamina for a big fella. He he brings the pain. He don't have as much heat in his gloves as you would think it would we would have. But we didn't think Ruiz punched that hard before last night, so it didn't, it didn't take that that it didn't take that much to start your English muffin. You feel me? But Luis Ortiz got to be feeling sick, you know. And we're gonna just say the top three biggest losers, uh, you know, four biggest losers after you know. Joshua after Louise lost. But for Ortiz, you know, he gotta feel some type of way. He gotta feel like, damn, I missed my opportunity. All them years you said I fight him for free. The one night you could have fought him for free and really, really got the bag from Wilder. Like, you know, Ortiz could have took his soul to the point if he showed up what he did versus Wilder, Brian Jennings, and, and got in, in fights not like the 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 the, the uh Kaufman and who else uh, he just fought. The Hammer and the Malik Scott and the Tony Thompson fight. Unlike those fights, if he showed up like Brian Jennings and Wilder, I believe he would have won. If that Ortiz, and there was no reason for that Ortiz not to show up. Unless he's just old and broken down. But that would have been, other than Ruiz, that would have been the most statement. That would have been a big statement and a big indictment on how bad Anthony Joshua was. And I'm telling you, people say he was fundamentally flawed and, and, and well, Wilder was fundamentally flawed. Wilder's a bum. And I told people, AJ is way more fundamentally flawed than Wilder. Nobody wanted to... Listen, just because Wilder is unorthodox, don't mean he didn't have a better jab, a better left hook, more speed. You know what I'm saying? But people didn't want to listen. But for Ortiz, he got to feel some type of way. He do. And when you get... And Al Heyman make mistakes, too. He do. Al Heyman, you know, Al Heyman and, and them boys over there let they judgment clout. Let they let they hate for Eddie Hearns, you know, fuck Ortiz out of an opportunity. He did. Oh, man, fuck that nigga, man. He ain't going to sit there and rob Ortiz. This is in America. Ortiz deserved that shot. All the years he's been chasing Anthony Joshua. All the years he's been saying, I'll fight him for free. And then when he get an opportunity, they put it on the promoter. They, they promotions turned it on. I was Al Heyman and them. Steven, Steven Nesman knows that gave a dropout already. He gave a drop. And therefore, he missed out on an opportunity. And Andy Ruiz, probably some people rank him as a 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 5th best heavyweight in the division. He leaps the whole division. All 15 contenders, or how many you said was in front of him, he leaps the whole division. And now he the guy to beat. You know? Alexander Usyk, he was the, I think he was the second biggest loser, just going up the scale. He was the second biggest loser tonight. You know why? Because he signed, he signed a match room off the strength. Match room USA off the strength that he was going to get a shot at Anthony Joshua. Now that may be in limbo. 
Because I see it if Ender Weiss get a full training camp and don't go out there and go and go crazy and gain a whole bunch of weight and relapse and, you know, start messing with, with chicks and, and, and lose his focus. If I'm Andy Ruiz, I take a small vacation, probably a nice vacation, probably a six-week vacation, maybe a two-month vacation. You know what I'm saying? I take a nice vacation, watch what I eat, because he just fought twice in, like, what, two months? I take a nice little vacation, and then I'm back in the gym on a good diet regimen. You know, I'm ready, I'm, ready to go, I'm ready to go back and fight again. I'm focused. You know, whoever it may be, if AJ takes the media rematch, which I just did a video, video saying they're trying to take it to the U.K., I'm ready for that. If they want me to put, put me against the close knock you Ariola winner, I'm ready for that. If they want to do a showcase fight in Mexico, LA, I'm ready for that. You know, he got to understand that he the hunted now. He's the hunted. But for uh, the Usyk, he fucked up. But, you know, the good thing that Usyk got going for him, he's still the, uh, the WBO super champion coming from Cruiserweight. So he, he has a mandatory shot. At the title, at the WBO title, if he wants it. He has a mandatory shot. Pueff still got a mandatory shot. So, you know, for, for Usyk, it ain't all bad. He gonna have to end up going to PBC, and by the time he get his mandatory shot, who knows who holds the belt. AJ can, can regain him. Andy Ruiz can still hold him. Um, Deontay Wilder can still hold him. He can, can, can get him. Tyson Fury can have him. You never know what can happen. But right now he the you he the loser. People sign signed off Eddie, sign, people sign with Eddie Hearn off the strength of AJ. AJ gave him the power with the zone. AJ gave him power with HBO. AJ gave him power to a showtime. AJ gave Eddie Hearn all types of power. That's like losing all the infinity infinity stones. That's like Shane Soon when Luke Kane forced all the beat all the spirits out of his body, all the souls out of his body. Eddie Hearn is just a is just a body. With no heart. With no spirit. You know what I'm saying? With no life in it. Eddie Hearn is a dead man walking. And for you, you know, you got to feel stupid. You, uh, you Devin Haney, the rest of y'all stand over there because y'all thought Eddie had the juice. And that's, better, and that's the, thing, the worst thing that could happen. AJ lose again and the zone stop fucking with him. But I think Devin Haney will save that. I think Alexander Yusick can help save that as well too. But well, Usyk lost out yesterday, too, because Usyk should have won straight for AJ. Even though he would have got hurt in the fight, would have had to been pushed back. And I remember somebody coming on here saying that Usyk should just go straight for the big dog. And they was right. Because Usyk could have beat Anthony Joshua last night. I seen him destroy Joe Joyce. And Anthony Joshua ain't too, ain't too far from Joe Joyce. I think Joe Joyce might have a little bit more power. They both slow. AJ is a little bit quicker. But Yusuf could have painted the ring red with AJ last night and got the stoppage. With that sorry ass stamina. So, and then you talk about the number one loser last night was Deontay Wilder. It was bittersweet for him. It was vindication. AJ got beat up. All the lies and shit got exposed. People just called him bum squad. And AJ was a better fighter. I've been saying that was a lie. But you really can't say Wilder Duck now, to be honest. Even though he was willing to duck the fade until late 2020. But you can't say he ducked now because it never came to it. It never came to it. Regardless, you know, AJ wasn't getting past Ruiz last night. So, Water didn't officially duck, but guess what? He lost out on millions. Andy Ruiz had never been bringing the payday of the fan base that that uh, AJ brought. He lost out on $40 million last night. Potentially $50, $60 million last night. At the end of the day, he could talk all the shit he want to. He lost out on all that money. He may not recoup that money. And, and none of these fights. He might recoup most of it in the Fury fight. He beat Ruiz. That ain't no pay-per-view fight right now. He may never recoup that money back. You know, he had the chance to make $40 million, $80 million in two fights. Even if it wasn't going to be in the rematch with AJ, he would have got a $40 million tune-up. That's $80 million. It ain't no telling what him and Fury made off three hundred fifty dollars I don't believe he made $20 million off that fight. He probably made $15 and Fury could probably hung like twelve. You left and you lost eighty million a potential hundred million dollar pay. Hundred twenty million dollars you lost last night. Because your Ortiz fight could have guaranteed you forty on his own. And then you could have fought Ruiz on his own. Or Ruiz was on his own if, if he beat AJ again, which I believe he will if AJ don't take the rematch. That's another forty million you could have you could have had on his own. Your hundred twenty million dollar deal would have been done. 
But hey, let me know what you guys think. Goodfellas Sports TV. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you have a business question, acquire sponsorship, video request. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, the Hillblaze, thehillblaze.com. Promo code Goodfellas One Box to get you 18% off the 100% all natural products. Check them out. Want to make a donation? The link's in the description. All these websites and information is in the description. One time for the one time. Goodfellas Sports TV. We go.